Hello, Dominic from BMT Spain, and today we have a student who wanted to know if tennis would be something for her because she never did any ball sport. And we went half an hour in building a forehand, going through the steps, and we started with throwing some balls, and we finished by knowing the rhythm, how far she should swing. So let's check out those steps. So we will start with throwing and catching a little bit to see how well she sees the ball, a little bit of coordination, how the hand goes to catch that ball, if she goes in a natural way to catch that ball. And once we have that, here we will start to work on that finish. So every time she has to finish over that shoulder or bring her hand into her neck as well on the left side as on the right side, because on the left side she will play a two-handed backhand so the left hand will finish the stroke into the neck or over the shoulder. So on both sides working, just tossing the ball and working on that finish. So once this is going fluently, we will start to take the racket and bring it in the position horizontal. So there is no backswing. So we work from that contact to that finish. So she will just touch the ball and finish. Touch the ball and finish. So. The throwing action she did, she will now do against the ball with the racket. And once we have that, we will already start to play. So here we will play with the red ball, which is very uh, slow. But you can see she's now making a preparation. She tries to keep the racket parallel to the net. But as you can see, we already having a rally in that forehand just by going to the ball touch and finish. Nothing about hitting, it's about controlling the ball, controlling the contact and once we have done that directly we go to the green dot ball which is a little harder, which bounces a little higher so you can see she has to adapt a little bit but once she gets the rhythm or the speed of the ball she can still go touch and finish. So this is the only thing we work on in the first steps. Learn to control the contact point, no big swings. The closer you can start to the contact, the more control you will have over that ball. So just touch and finish like we do here first with the red and then with the green dot balls. Now here we are going to make the strong bigger. She will start in the back so she will have that forward motion towards the ball and the moment she touches it she will finish just like in the exercise before. So she's touching and finishing. Now she's making a little more a swing towards the ball. And as you can see, it's already working fine. She's already finishing well, which is for me one of the most important parts. Now directly we go to the back. So don't waste too much time staying too short to the net. You start short, but if you can, you go in the back of the court. So she will make mistakes, which is normal but she's going slow to contact, she wants to control the contact with the ball and from there she finishes every time. So once we have that, we will go to the last step, which is bringing the hands to contact, the body turn, so she will turn the hands to where the ball goes, she will look for the bounce and the moment the ball bounces, she has to make her swing. I'm not telling her how to swing, she has to find it for herself and she will make a loop let's say but she has to find it by herself so turn walk looking for the bounce and on the bounce she starts to play so turn bounce and turn she will bring her hands to where the ball goes she's following her hands this is what i'm explaining follow your hands to the ball looking for the bounce and on the bounce you start to swing so her swing can start the moment she's already walking you don't have to be quiet to start to swing so this is what I'm telling her and once we have that, she has the bounce and turn, she has to become aware on how much time she has to do that swing. So the bounce will be one and the contact will be five and for that we will count one, two, three, four, five. So let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five. Bien. Gira. One, two, three, four, five. Bien. Gira. One, two, three, four, five. Voilà. Yes, yes, to ritmo. So these were the steps we made and the result of it. Now we have to start playing rally with the green dot balls. And all I can say is thank you for watching.